Sometimes you have data, figures, values that are not normally distributed, but that have a log normal distribution. I simulated that in column A. How can you simulate that easily? By using the function log normal dot inverse. And then you use a random number as the first argument. Then you determine what the mean should be and what should be the standard deviation. So if you copy that formula down, you get this result. I also did just to show you what the probability calculation would be. What, what is the probability that you find this value in that population or in that sample in this case? You, look, you use log normal dot dist. A2, that is the, the value, the number that you found. Then we used E1 for the, the mean of those values that are calculated here and the standard deviation. So that was done in column B. And then to get this curve, we have to find out how those values are distributed. So I created bins here, that is handwork, and then I selected all these cells. You have to do that at once and put in there the frequency function. The frequency function wants the data array and the bins array. But make sure that you do not just click on OK, but do Control Shift Enter to get those numbers in there. And I plotted that here, so I can see that it's not a normal distribution. Unfortunately, when it's not a normal distribution, you cannot use your regular statistical tools, like finding out a standard error, testing for significance and significant differences and stuff like that. In order to do so, I have to do more. Before I'm going to show you how to do that, I test it here whether it's significant. A thumb rule for that is if E3, that is the skew factor, which I calculated with the skew function and I transformed it with the text function, if E3, if E3 is greater than 2 times the square root of 6 divided by the count of all the numbers in column A, if that's the case, then I say yes, it is skewed, otherwise I say no. And you can change all of that all the time in F9, 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 and it will give you all kinds of random distributions with a log normal distribution. And they are always significantly skewed. So in order to do better work, I have to do some transformation. And I did that in column G. I transformed the values in column A by linearizing them, by using the function ln, returns the natural logarithm of a number. And I copied all of that down. Again, I calculated how they are distributed. So a frequency thing. This is the frequency one. Then I plotted that here, and you see that's more or less a normal distribution. To find that out, cal calculate the mean of the figures in column G, the standard deviation, calculate the skew factor between 0 and 1, positive or negative, and calculate the significance again. And, and you will see that in almost all cases that will not be significantly skewed. This one is definitely skewed, tailed to the right. So you, you can use these formulas. So you can use all these formulas and use F9. Each time I press F9, it will recalculate all those figures. And of course, I get a certain kind of randomness. But what is important is that the lower curve is more or less a normal distribution that is not significantly skewed. So you can do that with formulas as I just showed you. I can also do it with VBA code. So each time I use that Visual Basic code that I have attached to the shortcut Control shift t it creates a new sheet. See here at the bottom. 
See, it creates a random log normal distribution. It, it keeps the existing curves, empties the columns A, B, and G. I click on yes. Transform the data in column G. Yes. And it's the log normal one is significantly skewed. After transformation, no longer skewed. And that's the end result. Each time I do Control Shift T, it will start a new sheet, transform the data, and it is no longer skewed. What is the code? Alt F11 takes you to the Visual Basic code. I inserted a new module, and I called the subroutine transform log normal. I declared the variable of the worksheet type. I set that variable to the active sheet. I make a copy of that active sheet, and you can copy it before a sheet or after a sheet. I did it after, comma, after the sheets, all the sheets we have from the collection of sheets, the one with the count number. Then, in range A2 for A101, clear the data in there. Colon, that means a new line. Range B2 for B11, clear the data in there. And range G2 for G11, clear the data in there. Then we ask with a message box, do you want one normally distributed? Uh, if you say no, then exit the sub. Otherwise, put in range A1 the formula equals double quotes equals log normal dot inverse. I explained that to you before. Do the same in range B2, but now with the dist function of log normal. If the message box do you want to transform no, then exit the sub. Otherwise, put of those values in column G, and then we report to the user log normal is if the range E4 equals quote yes, then put nothing in there, otherwise not significantly skewed, space ampersand space underscore splits that long line of the message box into the second line. VB carriage return, and we do one more IIF function, it is skewed, or not skewed. All of that will do what I just showed you. If you want to know much more about all of this, I would recommend one of these free books, or all three actually. Uh, how do you make simulations with Excel functions without VBA? This book tells you. If you want to do that with VBA, like I did at the end of this video, I would go for that book. In general, I would say a book is better to see and to buy, because you can see two facing pages, and these two books are made with two facing pages. The left page explains things, the right page gives you the code, either the functions and formulas or the VBA code. If you want to know more about statistics, Excel 2013 for Scientists is the perfect book for you. You can find all of this at genesispc.com forward slash cdlist.htm. Not html, but htm. I wish you good luck.